Thank you, Madam Speaker. This motion to recommit codifies current regulations with regard to activities and organizations ineligible for grants from the Corporation for National and Community Service and AmeriCorps volunteers. The activities include lobbying, protesting, union organizing, engaging in partisan political activities or religious instruction, conducting voter registration or providing direct benefits to for-profit businesses, labor unions, or political parties. It also adds to the list of organizations those that promote or provide abortions, as well as for-profit organizations, political parties, labor organizations, lobbyists, and those indicted for voter fraud. Organizations are also prohibited from receiving funds under these instructions if they are also co-located with an organization that engages in prohibited activities. Finally, no organization that receives funds under this bill may displace current employed workers or volunteers. Madam Speaker, the overriding principle here is that money is fungible. Funds must be used for the purpose of service and encouraging others to serve within their communities. They must not be allowed to be used for prohibited activities. Groups that might be eligible for these grants and volunteers, if this MTR were not to pass, include a laundry list of organizations that engage in activities that many Americans do not support. For example, ACORN employees and supervisors have been indicted for voter fraud in recent history. During the 2008 election proof election, proof surfaced that voter registration by the group was, in the words of the New York Times, vastly overstated, including registrations for Disney characters and Dallas Cowboy football players. Experts say that instances of inaccurate registration and fraud are greater when volunteers receive payments for their services. The American taxpayer should not be forced to pay for fraudulent behavior in the name of promoting community service. For the current 2008-2009 AmeriCorps service year, an Oregon Planned Parenthood has a listed position for a paid volunteer. This AmeriCorps volunteer would be responsible for, quote, providing, promoting, and protecting access to reproductive and sexual health care for the women, men, and teens. While individuals should be aware of how to access health care services within their communities, the federal government prohibits use of federal funds to be used for abortion as a form of family planning. Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in the U.S. Federal taxpayer dollars should not be used to fund volunteers at organizations such as this. Volunteerism plays a critical role in meeting many needs in our society. However, the federal government should not be paying individuals to volunteer their time at locations that are prohibited from receiving taxpayer dollars, especially when Americans are already facing budget constraints from all the demands they face. This is not acceptable. This motion to recommit ensures that taxpayer dollars are not directed toward programs that are politically divisive and morally objectionable. It also ensures that AmeriCorps volunteers and recipients of corporation grants do not disrupt current volunteer activities and employee responsibilities.